Hey guys, it's Erin or Everyday Erin and I'm back with another video. Um, we are just back from our trip to Maine and it was phenomenal, phenomenal. And I thought I would tell you a little bit about it, put some pictures in to share a little bit of what we did while we were there. Um, it was, we left on Thursday and we were supposed to come home on Monday. However, however, this man showed up on our trip that made us, made us cut it short. This man's name is Henri and uh, he used to be known as Hurricane Henri and currently he is known as Tropical Storm Henri. <laughs> um, so we had to come home early because uh, originally he was headed directly for Maine and now he is headed directly for us. <laughs> So we arrived on Thursday night. Uh, we just hung out while we were there, got some Dairy Queen ice cream because we don't have Dairy Queen here. Tom loves Dairy Queen. So went and got some Dairy Queen ice cream for everybody and hung out at the campground, got set up. It was a really nice campground, quiet, uh, not a lot going on, nice big sights. And we got set up and we put, it was raining, it rained the whole way up. It was a, actually a pretty scary drive up uh, visibility wise, but we got set up. We put our easy up over the picnic table in hopes that the picnic table would dry because it was soaked because my mother was coming up with Sadie the next morning for breakfast. So we put it up, but we didn't raise the arms and wait and see what happens. Um, we got up the next morning and the easy up was caved in <laughs> because the rain was so heavy and then there was um, runoff from the awning over the slide. But I went under the easy up, pushed that water up and bent the metal back and thankfully it was okay. Um, and the better part was that uh, the top of the table and one of the benches of the table was completely dry. The other one was almost dry, which was fine because I had two tablecloths. I put one tablecloth on the seat and one on the table and we were all set. And I had also brought two of our folding chairs from our um, patio furniture. So there was plenty of space. Uh, my mother and Sadie came up. We had breakfast. It was lovely. It was lovely. We visited for a little bit. And then my mother said, do you mind if Sadie stays with you? Uh, I need to do something with my friend. My mother has a house up there or a, she has a mobile home in a, an RV park. It's a, it's not really a mobile home. It's not really an RV. It's called a park model. It's kind of like a cross between a trail, uh, a travel trailer and a mobile home. And um, so she has a place up there. And she had a, and her friend needed to do something. I said, of course, she can stay with me. So Sadie and I, Kristen's not really a swimming person. So Sadie brought her bathing suit and her lunch. She had actually asked me ahead of time. I mean, I didn't care. I, I was, I was thrilled. Uh, Sadie had her bathing suit. And what did we do? We went to the pool and we swam for like two hours. After the pool, we did crafts in the pool area for a little while. I had mentioned I brought some beading to do with her and that was fun. Um, then we had lunch. Then we had lunch. Well, we got out of our wet swimsuits. Wet swimsuits. Then Kristen, Sadie, and I took a walk to get some ice cream, which was nice. <laughs> and Kristen and Sadie, oh my gosh. Kristen and Sadie, I asked them to slow down because they they were walking too long with their la their long legs, and so then they decided to walk slow. <laughs> and I'll put a video in here of what that looks like because it was fairly hysterical. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> we walked back to the campground. Uh, we played basketball for a little while and then my sister arrived. My sister came up on Friday when Sarah and Sophie arrived. We got changed back into our swimsuits and went back to the pool for another hour and a half or two hours or so. Had a great time. 
Sophie uh, cried a lot. <laughs> used to people I mean she grew up in a time where she knew her mother her father and her sister and all these new people are coming into her life and I can imagine it's very overwhelming for a child um so she's about one she's absolutely adorable oh before we went to the pool we went to the playground and I should put some pictures in of that because it was both terrifying and fun <laughs> and uh yeah so Sarah and Sophie went back to pick up my mother and my mother and Sophie and Sarah came back to my campground and uh, brought pizza and we had dinner and we just hung out for a while and it was fun and there were a lot of laughs and it was it was great. Unfortunately, at that point, we were realizing how bad the hurricane was going to be and had decided that we were going to have to leave the next day. Um, and Sophie had, uh, not Sophie, oh God, that would have, Sophie would have been miserable. Sadie <laughs> I had shown some interest in spending the night at our campground and my sister said, sure, if you want to stay, stay. So we had an unexpected and wonderful sleepover with Sadie. So Sadie stayed with us. We went back to the campground for, not the campground, we went back to the playground for a while. Um, we also, and then we came back to the trailer because it was bedtime. Bedtime was 8. She was allowed to stay up till 8.30. I think Kristen's coming downstairs. Is that Kristen? It's Kristen. Raining. It's raining. I'm just telling them about our trip and how we're going to have to... Oh, you're wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. I was just telling them, come on. But say, it's raining. Just say hello. Just say hello. Hello. Get your face in here. Sit down. Say hello. Hello. I'm not mean to you, am I? Not most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling them how Sadie spent the night <laughs> with the RV. Yep. Yeah. So, Sadie's bedtime was 8. She was allowed to stay up till 8.30, so we let her play with our Switch for a while before bedtime. And then, Sadie was allowed to stay because this wonderful human being right here, this one, <laughs> the best human being in the entire world, slept on the floor <laughs> so that Sadie could stay with us. I'm going to turn that fan on. It's kind of fumy down here. It's very fumy down <laughs> here. Sorry. I might be... Woo! <laughs> anyway... I'll so, go do that. Okay. Um, unless Thanks. it becomes too loud for you. I can wait till your It won't be over. too loud. It'll, it'll be fine. All right. Just holler if it is. I will. I'll, I'll fill them in about all that after. Um, so Sadie stayed. It was great. Um, Sadie, we did realize we only had, we didn't have a pillow for her. So I gave her my pillow and I put a blanket in a pillowcase that we had and used that as my pillow and it was a brick. And Sadie proceeded to sleep not on the pillow. But if Kristen could sleep on the floor so she could stay, I could sleep on a brick. It's small peanuts. Uh, we got up the next day cause bright and early. I had to actually wake Sadie up because she was pretty tired. Um, because we were going to the beach. Kristen was staying back with her dad to prep everything to pack up. So my mom picked... No, that's not my mom. That was my sister. First, I woke Sadie up. I French braided her hair so it was out of her face. She had breakfast. She played a little more Switch. I just gave her the... She likes Mario Kart, and I let her play it so that she would stay quiet. It's really hard for kids to stay quiet. It's hard for me to stay quiet. So she played Switch until her, her mom got there. Mom brought a change of clothes and a bathing suit, and we headed off to the beach. The beach was Sophie... Sarah, Sadie, my mom, and myself, and um, we boogie boarded, we built a small sand castle, um, we looked for shells, we didn't really find any, and we had a good time, we were there about two and a half hours, it was just enough time, just enough time that I am slightly burnt, you can probably see a little bit of it, but it was fun. I do feel mildly abused from the waves because there's a tropical storm coming, so the waves are bigger. But the better, the, the good part of all that, the upside, was that the water was a little warmer. If you've ever been to a beach in Maine, 
you know that the water is cold. Um, the water was still cold, but it wasn't so cold that your whole body had to get numb for you to get in the water. So that was good. And then we headed back. They dropped me off at my campground and I got changed and made a sandwich. And then I drove up to my mother's place because my brother came up and I picked up my brother and brought him back to our campground because he wanted to see our RV. And we hung out for a short time. Unfortunately, it couldn't be longer. And my mother came, my mother and Sadie came and picked him up. And Sadie was very sad. She said it's not long enough. And she started to get a little, a little moody um and I just gave her a hug and I said I'm sad too but at least we don't have to wait as long to see each other again because we're going to see each other at the end of September we're going on our annual family apple picking trip and Kristen is going this year so that kind of perked her up and uh, my mother and Philip that's my brother uh and Sadie took off and we closed up the last of what we needed to and headed home there was a lot of traffic getting home. It took us about four, four and a half hours to get home. Um, another half hour or so to back it up the driveway. Uh, Cause there's the, Kristen's great at driving the RV, but there's a lot of maneuvering to get it up the RV, up the driveway. And it was raining when we got home. We unloaded the RV and then we started the preparations for the hurricane. Um, I went out last night and I gassed up our car. I got some milk because we were out of milk. Um, what else did I get? Oh, and some cream for Tom, half and half. And then I came back. And that was really all we did last night. And then this morning, Kristen got up. Oh, and Kristen picked all the ripe produce in the garden. Uh, again, check out her channel, Vermont Gardening Adventures. Link down below. Um, we picked all the right produce last night, and that's what we did last night. Uh, today, which is Sunday the 22nd, I don't know what day it'll be when you see this, but Sunday the 22nd, Kristen got up early. She didn't have to. I would have got up. And she moved all of the potted plants into the greenhouse and to our tent shed <sighs> let me explain to you what a tent shed is if you've ever seen those um like tarp material tents not tents sheds garages like that you can buy at home depot we have one of those um that we keep a lot of our off-season um appliances in like in the winter our snow in the winter our lawnmower is in there in the summer our snow blower is in there so we put the rest of the plants in there and then Kristen and Tom went to get gas for the generator and there was no gas at the first gas station so they went to another gas station and they had to wait in a long line. Um, but they gassed up the other car and filled up the gas cans for the generator because we're going to lose power. During Hurricane Irene, which was Tropical Storm Irene when it got to Vermont, um, Vermont was one of the worst hit states. Um, there are still license plates you can get from the state of Vermont, I believe, that's Vermont strong. So during Hurricane Tropical Storm Irene, this house lost power for seven over seven days and they didn't have a generator at that point and um, they lost all the food in their fridge so they have we have a generator now and so we went and got gas for that it's not a generator that comes on automatically we have to go on and turn it go out and turn it on and everything so we got that and when they got back from doing that Kristen and I went outside and I'll put in a little video here of we, what we did then. This morning, before the rain starts again, it did rain last night, we are prepping the driveway for the arrival of what is now, I think, Tropical Storm Henri, but I don't know what it's gonna be when it gets here. Um, ugh, the bugs are atrocious. So I dug a little trench, a little bit deep, 
And Kristen is finishing up another trench to try and save our driveway. Um, yeah. It goes all the way up the side of the driveway, but thankfully we only have to um, do some repairs here and there. The, the bottom is pretty long, though. So we dug those ditches, and then um, I cleared off the deck. I put away, I took down all the flower boxes. I put away the, we have a pot of lettuce and a pot of dill. I put that in the garage. We folded up all the chairs and tables. I took the umbrella down, put those away. Kristen cleared out and uh, made deeper this thing that's called a water bar that we have at the top of our driveway. She did that and then we we're pretty much done except for we have a utility closet down here in the basement that when we got a lot of rain has a tendency to leak and it leaks a lot. Um, so we found this out mm, a year and a half ago when I walked down the stairs and I heard squeesh, squeesh, squeesh under the laminate floor. <laughs> so uh, when it rains, we always repatch that. So the final thing we did was Kristen repatched that um, with some Flex Seal. I don't know if she used Flex Seal or the hydraulic cement. She used one of the two. Yeah. That's my watch. She used one of the two. Anyway, that's what she was talking about, the fumes. Um, she turned on a fan, and I am starting to feel slightly lightheaded now that I'm sitting here. So, our trip was great, albeit short. I'm looking forward to another one. Um, we're planning on going back next year for longer, more than two days. <laughs> um, but it was a great trip. It was a great trip. I had a wonderful time. Kristen had a, a wonderful time, I think. Tom was just glad, honestly, to be out of these four walls because we've been here for so long. Um, it was nice to have something different to look at out the window. Um, it was a great trip, and I really am very grateful to Kristen and Tom for driving all the way to Maine to, do, to just see my family. It really means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, it was great. So, that's what happened this weekend. Uh, next I am going to show you what I finished in terms of projects. And it is a lot. I finished a lot. Um, so stay tuned for that. And we will see who was closest in the number of projects that I brought with me. Let's see. Not who that I brought with me, that I finished. That I finished! All right. That is all for now. I am going to go upstairs and let these fumes dissipate a little before I record that second video. I hope you guys are doing real well. And until next time, I'll talk to you then. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>